After word came out Friday of evidence being withheld in the murder trials of James and Cedric Poor, today Two Works For You took a look at Tulsa Homicide's evidence binders. Reporter Joe Hinkie is live with the details, Joe. Well, Brian, James Poor's murder trial should have begun here at the Tulsa County Courthouse today. But after word of that withheld evidence in the Poor Brothers cases came out last week, today a Tulsa County judge ruled that his trial be pushed back until late February. His brother Cedric will be tried separately in the beginning of February. Now, on Friday, we learned Tulsa Police Homicide Detectives previously handed over evidence which led to the district attorney's office charging James and Cedric Poor for the murders of four women in 2013 at the Fairmont Terrace Apartments here in Tulsa. TPD's investigation into the murders, though, examined a long list of other individuals who I'm told detectives ultimately ruled out as suspects. Tulsa police, though, kept all of that paperwork, which shows its entire investigation that withheld evidence on individuals ruled out as suspects, remains on file in the homicide offices, where I'm told it remained since 2013. And so each one of those guys has a disc, but when we discounted them as, as suspects, it doesn't really become part of the case. Mm -hmm. It becomes something we keep, just for instance like this, where they're going to say, well, we're, what, what steps did you take? Well, here's all the yeah. steps we took. Now, Tulsa Police Detective Dave Walker showed us today the discs they use and the binders used during homicide investigations. Reports, crime scene information, photos, phone records, and interviews are all kept on these discs. I'm told everything related to the Poor Brothers case and the investigation around it is now in the hands of the district attorney's office. I did contact the defense attorney this afternoon for James Poor. He declined to comment on camera, but said he is very interested to see what is in that previously withheld evidence. The Tulsa police also scheduled to be in court to answer questions from uh, lawyers and the district judge about this withheld evidence. I'll tell you when we can expect them in court coming up at 6. Reporting live downtown, Joe Hinkie, Two Works For You.